Hey, what's up guys? This is Satej. Huawei has launched a new competitive chipset for its mid-range and affordable phones. It's called High Silicon Kirin 810 and it is the successor to its previous generation Kirin 710 SoC. This mid-range chip is based on the same 7 nanometer manufacturing node as the flagship Kirin 980. The difference with the 810 however is that it's meant for mid-range hardware. It's also the only mid-range SoC that has 7 nanometer manufacturing process, although Snapdragon 730 comes close to it by using 8 nanometer manufacturing process. The new Kirin 810 chipset has 8 cores like the Kirin 980, but two of the Kirin's 980 high performance cores have been replaced with energy efficient small cores. So Kirin 810 features two ARM Cortex A76 chips that are both clocked at an impressive 2.27 GHz. Those two chips will take the bulk of the heavy lifting, but they will also be accompanied by six Cortex A55 chips that are all clocked at 1.88 GHz. Meanwhile, the SoC also offers a Mali G52 GPU for improved graphical performance. Huawei promises around 162% better performance over the last generation found in Kirin 710. Now let's compare it to its competitors, Qualcomm Snapdragon 730. The Kirin 810 promises 11% better single core and 13% better multi core performance. So, CPU wise, Kirin 810 is better. It's unclear if this will be Huawei's last ARM design chip after the chip designer cut ties with Huawei last month. GPU wise, the Mali G52 MP6 should outperform the Adreno 618. In GFX Bench 1080p Manhattan test, it showed 44% improved frame rate over Snapdragon 730 with Arduino 618 GPU, and it has 15% better frame rate in GFX Bench 1080p T-Rex test, which shows Snapdragon 730 is lacking behind. So definitely, Kirin 810 is special. Additionally, this new chipset will enhance gaming experience with system-level AI FM scheduling technology, GPU underlying driver upgrades, GPU load optimization, and HD game effects optimization. The Kirin 810's hidden weapon is the DaVinci NPU based on the Rubik's Cube quantitative stereo arithmetic unit capable of outperforming the flagship Snapdragon 855 and MediaTek Helio P90 in AI-related tasks. It got a score of 32,280 points in the AI benchmark which proves it's better than the Snapdragon 855 and P90 in AI processing. Not just that, the NPU has been put to work in other areas as well. It's supposed to help the GPU, CPU and memory communications faster and run more efficiently to ensure stable performance for long period of time. The AI system can predict GPU overload and adjust frequencies accordingly. It also tracks frame rate fluency and touchscreen input changes in real time. On image processing side of things, Huawei is particularly proud of its flagship grade image vision processing and image sensing processing, which upgraded pixel processing unit, improved white balance algorithm and noise reduction in raw image processing. It should help the camera deliver more detailed low light images. Huawei compared the low light image processing with the Snapdragon 730's Spectra 350 ISP and says that its IVP and ISP delivers better details even in low lighting. So overall, it's a huge improvement over its previous mid-range chipset and also over its competitors. With that, we are at the end of this video. Hope you liked what you saw. Do subscribe and like. See you next time. Peace out.